How you doing, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of FSI's PGA Preview. We are doing the Honda Classic Showdown Round 2. Uh, what a round by Matt Jones to kick us off here, tying the course record, shooting a 61. Uh, brilliant uh, stuff from him. Uh, surprisingly, some lower scores uh, compared to years past. Uh, we still did have um, uh, the second wave shoot an average score of 72. Uh, so there is a little bit of a wave advantage going on right now. Excuse me, a wave advantage going on right now, but uh, looking forward to uh, seeing how this uh, trickles over into round two. Uh, shouldn't be as bad as wind as it was yesterday, and uh, if anything, uh, we should probably see something similar. You know, guys, some guys shooting low scores, some guys shooting high scores. It just depends on how well you've been by striking the ball. And that's what we're going to focus on for our DraftKings uh, showdown lineups tomorrow is how well you're striking the ball. Um, I do want to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to, we are running a promotion here at FSI, a uh, coupon code for 15% off any one purchase, except for the daily content and the NASCAR season long. But uh, you can get your VIP subscription at 15% off. You can get monthly for subscriptions, 15% off a uh, really cool deal. And, um, you know, take advantage of the March Madness. Uh, we do have bracket pools going on for, um, March Madness, if you want to get into that, I think the pool is up to almost $700. It's got a 50% half, um, a 50% uh, payout to first, 30% to second, and second, it, our third gets like 20% or something like that. Just really fun. Uh, you can get up to uh, 25 entries if you're really feeling froggy, you know, throw in 20 entries and <laughs> and uh, try to max a bad boy out and try to take home the big t uh, the big prize. But if you're just looking to throw one bracket in to get some action, why not? And that's how I'm approaching it. And i uh, got some buddies in it too, as well. Uh, we do an NASCAR pool every week, uh, $5 per driver. And uh, that's a really fun sweat. I love doing that one as well. So there's a lot of cool things to do here at FSI. If you want to find that Discord and you want to find those um, you can find it at fsidfs.com, and then at, you can find all of those links on our Twitter handle at fsi underscore dfs. All right, enough of the plugs. Let's get to the picks. 10K range, we got Sunjay M at 10.6, Joaquin Neiman at 10.3, and Lee Westwood at 10K. Uh, I think Lee Westwood's going to get a little better as he goes. Um, I think he could also get tired. This is a guy that was back-to-back -back, uh, the last two weeks. And he did shoot, uh, I think, 36 to 54 holes at Augusta with his son uh, Monday and Tuesday. So he didn't get to the course till Wednesday. Um, he tees it up, I assume, after maybe nine holes on a practice round. He's playing a lot of golf. And I wonder how long that stamina is going to go. Uh, even if he does make the cut, uh, is he going to be as effective as he was the last two rounds? Again, it could totally backfire uh, thinking that he is going to fall off and he could just continue to strike the ball better as the week goes on. So I think you play for the best of both of it tomorrow. Maybe throw one dart at him and multiple entries or just completely fade. I'm leaning completely fade. I think Sanjay M makes for an interesting play. Uh, he's gaining a lot of strokes putting, but he's 134th in the field on the approach. I don't know how to take that um, for what it is. There's a loaded 9K range. So I think maybe one shot at Sunjay tomorrow going low. Um, Neiman's not really doing any better, but he is striking the ball better. He just can't putt. Um, so maybe his putter prog uh, regression can you know goes forward. Uh, there are some plays in the 6K range to help fill out that 10K range um, in a multiple entry style format. But I do like this 9K range better. Adam Scott at 9.7. He is 24th in the field in ball striking. He's starting to heat up with his irons. I like him. He is a guy that has won in Florida. Um, he had won the Arnold Palmer uh, Invitational before. I could see him uh, performing better. He's played a lot of golf this year, more golf than he ever really has in year. Well, not really ever, but more so in the past five years than he has um, this year. So I like Adam Scott. Um, Chris Kirk, uh, 9,500. He's continuing to hit the ball really well. 11th in the field in ball striking, 9th tee to green. Probably my favorite play in this price range. He has a lot of really good stats at 9,500. Cameron Tringali at 93, I believe he got off to a really hot start, birdied four of the first five holes. Um, third off the tee, striking the ball really well, 21st in the field, eighth tee to green. 
Uh, playing really good short game as well. Cameron Tringali, uh, this is really weird to see him in the 9K range playing well. But, hey, you got Chris Kirk up here as well. So, guys uh, that have been around a while playing really well. Uh, Russell Henley at 92. He obviously shot that 600 uh, day today. But he was third in putting and 96 on the approach. That is not the style Russell Henley is accommodating, uh, usually accommodating to. It's generally third on the approach and 96th on the putting. So if he does the complete opposite, he might have a better day tomorrow. Even if he doesn't putt as well as he did today, he's in his ball striking returns. He might have a phenomenal day tomorrow. We could see Russell Henley jump out to the lead, and I'm hoping so because he's my one and, my one and done. I need a win. I need to climb back into this uh, fantasy golf national club uh, one and done um, field. I'm sitting in 2000, so I need a win, a million dollar purse to jump, catapult me about a thousand spots, and um, I'm hoping this is a week for Mr. Russell Henley. Uh, I also think Shane Lowry is a really good play. Ninth on the approach and 30th in ball striking. I do like the Irishman. It's March. How do you not like an Irishman in March? 8K, we got Keegan Bradley, 8,900. Uh, third off the tee, 36 ball striking. Not my favorite play. I prefer Henley and Lowry. Uh, Cam Davis at 8,700. 13th on the approach, 7th ball striking, 15th tee to green. That's the play in this range. But really, a lot of my lamps are going to go 9K to 7K. I do like Cam Davis the most. Uh, Zach Johnson at 8K, seventh on the approach, third ball, excuse me, third ball striking, six tee to green. Uh, big shout out to my uh, partner in crime, John, uh, cool 19. He uh, nailed this Zach Johnson pick, and uh, he's probably got a lot of good lineups because of it. 7K, I like Kevin Streelman, 7700. Uh, he's kind of been the chalk uh, so far into this round. I think he's going to perform. I think that we'll just go with that. Steve Stricker, uh, shout out to myself for uh, the sleeper of the week so far. Uh, he is in fourth with fourth on the approach, fourth button ball striking, four tee to green. Uh, Steve Stricker um, just hitting the ball really well. It does not matter. we got a short course with a lot of water and his ball striking is on fire. I think Steve Stricker is live here, and I think I'm going to continue to roster him. Matt Jones, guy of the hour, tied the course record uh, just flat out. Number one in the in the uh, across the stats in ball striking tee to green and on the approach, seventy four hundred. Uh, pr probably a very cash like uh, play tomorrow at his price tag. Doesn't hurt you uh, to play a guy that's hitting the ball as well as he did. Uh, does he go completely backwards? I don't know. Florida though, there's a lot of water here, and one water ball can lead to another. I think it makes for a decent GBP fade. I'm not going to be that guy, though. I'll get burned. You don't get burned, I'll get burned. Uh, Hunt at 7,400 is uh, playing very well around the greens. That's it, though. I prefer Matt Jones, but that's a decent pivot. Denny McCarthy, 11th in the approach, uh, did not putt well, which is odd for Denny McCarthy. Those things usually are opposite. It was a very opposite day. Um, Adam Long, 8th in the approach, 10th in ball striking, 5th tee to green, 7,200. I really like that play. Uh, Wierenski, uh, Will Gordon, and Harry Higgs will probably round out this 7K range. In the 6K range, I like Aaron Wise. Uh, I believe he to be second with Russell Henley. He was sixth in ball striking, third tee to green, and ninth around the green. He's playing really well. Cameron Percy, Bronson Bragoon, also strong plays in this 6K range. Uh, Joseph Bramlett at uh I did not get his price tag down, but he is eighth off the tee, sixth on the approach, second in ball striking and tee to green. So really like Bramley. Also plays really well in the wind. Uh, probably going to be a, on the lookout for one of my weekend uh, plays this week. Also, return of Kevin Chappell, ladies and gentlemen. The wind's picked up and Chapel returned. Uh, it's good to see that name return back to golf. It seems like he's a little healthy. Uh, going to be a name I followed. I don't know if I'm going to roster, but a, definitely a name I follow. Scotty Harrington at 7,400 really plays well in the wind. He's seemingly hitting the ball pretty well. And Robert Streb at 6K if you want to go M. Neiman um, up top. So uh, I like those guys, and those are my plays for the 6K range. Uh, that is going to bring me to the coupon code YouTube March. That is for 15% off any one, uh, one subscription. Um, 
except for the daily stuff and the NASCAR season long. That code word was YouTube March. So if you stuck around and you hung out with me for about nine minutes here and you got to this coupon code, it is YouTube March. All right, guys, thank you for listening in. Please like this video, comment below if you have any questions. And uh, hopefully I can see you in the Discord, get to the core lineups. They're about to come out right after this video ends. And uh, I will see you around.